Greetings and welcome to the garden update video number three. Today's the next day. It's June 23rd and we did have our bad rainstorm and uh, it just stopped and it started clearing up. So I thought I'd come out here and take a quick video just so you can see everything that is growing. And uh, I'll try to make it another short video, but I could go on for hours talking about these different things. Like, like this is lemon balm. Look how beautiful that is. And lemon balm reseeds itself. So next to it, I've got all these little seedlings that I'm gonna repot as soon as I get a chance. And same thing with foxglove. Foxglove reseeds itself. And that's what that is. So I'll be picking them out and relocating them. And then right there I've got a foxglove that is um, beginning to create its seed pods. And same thing with the delphinium, seed pods there. And then over here we've got columbine seed pods as well. So I collect the seeds. I also collect the seed pods because they make beautiful dried flower arrangements. And, um, and then I also collect the seeds and I give them away. So over here, everything is growing in real nice. There's mullen coming in. I've been harvesting this and drying these out as they're ready. Looks like a couple more leaves are ready. And then I got another one here, just starting to grow. We've got the sunflowers getting taller I'm excited about them I've got sunflowers everywhere over here the echinacea is just starting to to bloom look how beautiful that is now once these start coming in and also the bee balm over there the bee balm is also well, getting ready to bloom probably another week or so um, we're going to have a lot of activity of butterflies and bees and birds and, and different things that get attracted to the yard at different times. I love watching it. Over here, we've got four clocks that these all reseeded themselves. So I have a combination of things here. I've got an evening primrose there. That reseeded itself. I had it originally in this pot over here. So I've got a lot of evening primroses that reseeded themselves there. Got some there. That's a Jerusalem artichoke from my friends at Sunshine Farms. And my Jerusalem artichokes they gave me are doing really well. I can't wait until they bloom. I'm excited about that. But the evening primroses, they're beautiful. They start opening around sunset and um, they stay open through the night. And they're still open right now, I guess, because it was cloudy. And here's the passion flower and passion fruit plant that is a very very fast grower so pretty soon that's going to take over the whole area there and i finished with this i've got some fever few that re uh, seeded itself from last year i'm very glad about that because that's a very good medicine for migraines and for reducing fevers and over here this is an aster that's going to bloom soon and this is um, my yellow yarrow. I've already harvested all the, the tall yarrow that I had, and now it's gonna rebloom with some little smaller ones. And this looks like it took a beating in the rain. It's all flopped over, but this is Roman chamomile, different than all the other German chamomile that I had all around. The German chamomile is right here, which is pretty much done the the german chamomile doesn't really like the heat so i've done as much harvesting of that as i can i'm just allowing the remaining ones to grow so that they will reseed themselves and same thing with this larkspur it reseeded itself from last year and here's the seed pods and i make sure i leave a few and uh you know because i want them to reseed um same thing with the four clocks down there they receive themselves. So when they're in a bad spot, I move them and uh, put them in different places. But pretty soon, this will be done. And then behind it, I have other things that are growing, like the 
the sunflower so that'll come out and then I've got four clocks around it and then same thing with this this will be done soon and then behind it I have zinnias that are gonna grow nice and big and my parsley I've harvested a lot of that and now it's starting to flower and it'll be a beautiful flower it'll attract all kinds of butterflies and um, they like to eat that and then it'll give me some seeds so let's go around here oh my pink yarrow I love that I love that in arrangements and drying it it makes a good medicine and here's dill it got a little bit beat up in the rain uh, but that's also a beautiful flower I got some more dill over here and I noticed on this dill I did have some caterpillars now I love when that happens and I leave it I leave them I don't see them now hopefully they hung on when it rained hard I'll have to um, see if I can find them <clears throat> maybe take a picture but over here now the tomatoes are loving this bed I have amended this soil and done all kinds of things it took me a very long time to get this soil um, ready to plant things in but I'm glad that I took that time because the tomatoes are doing so well everything in here is doing well and you can see here on the back here you can see all the ones that are growing I just came through and pruned everything real good and got everything tied up before the storm and I fertilized so that all the fertilizer will go deep into the, the soil with the rain that we had and then over here I took out the things that were done and then I replanted I've got cucumbers I've got bush cucumbers and tall cucumbers or pulled I guess that so will need some support and there's the collard greens that I've been enjoying for a couple months now, I think. Um, they seem to like this spot. They like the amount of uh, sun and heat because they haven't bolted yet like this. This is Choi that's bolting and it's pretty, so I'm just leaving it there. Um, same thing with the pepper grass. I love these seed pods. And when they dry, I collect them. I turn them upside down and dry them except if they have a family of bugs on them, like, well, there's a video, there it is, a family of bugs there, I, think. I, I don't collect them. I put them out into the, the woods and let them grow up naturally. I don't bring them in the house. So here's the foxglove, more seed pods. So in each one of these pods are about 100 to 150 seeds. And on each plant, there's probably, oh my God, I can't even, I can't even estimate how many seed pods there are. There could be millions of seeds and that's just one stalk. There's many stalks here from this plant. So the seeds that you get from foxglove is unbelievable and it reseeds itself very easily. And you can even take these when they're dry and just shake them around anywhere you wanna have foxglove regrow and it regrows very easily. It likes the shade. It also will grow in the sun too. Um, it likes part shade, um, which is nice because I, that's why I have it on this side of the yard is because this side of the yard is um, a little bit shadier than the other side. Now this box glove I just took out, it wasn't looking very good. So I'm gonna replant something right there that I have growing. And over here is the medicine garden. And there's vervain that is starting to bloom. And vervain reseeds itself. And I'm, as I have time, I pick all these out. This is also vervain. So I'm repotting all of these. And then this is also fox, or um, not fox club, uh, four o'clock that reseeded itself from last year. So they'll all grow in there real nice. And we've got sage. This is a castor and some thyme. We've got rue and I'm very excited about these seed pods. Um, these are just really cool looking. I can't wait to save them. But I've been harvesting this and uh, getting a lot of herb from that. And then here we've got some more gloriosa daisy. 
how beautiful they are. Next to it is St. John's wort. Now I harvested every, well not everything, it looks like this will be the next. So I usually do leave some on the plant. So I don't harvest everything at the same time. I just, um, I want it to continue to grow. Oh, look at that. This is apple mint, and I keep that in a container because I learned my lesson with mint. Any any of the containers you see, like there's another one. There's containers over there are mint. So all my mint is in a container because mint goes crazy, and uh, it goes everywhere. And this is valerian. Now these are aerial, like um, these are aerial seeds that fly. You can maybe see them, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they, they're just like the, the dandelion seeds. They're on like aerial propellers and they fly around. So that prolifically recedes itself. So that's what it's doing right now. Is all the seeds are dropping down and reseeding itself and they grow back very easily. So that's another one that I, I repot and I give away. Or maybe someday I'll have a farmer stand, you know. I'll sell some of this stuff because I do have a lot now, now that I've built it to this point. So over here, well, I do like this area. When I come out of the door here, my back door, hello, my doggy. So when I come out of my back door, I just love to see all this green everywhere. I love it. It's so lush. It's tall. It's healthy. I try to keep everything as healthy as possible. I, I, if a plant is dying, I take it out. Or if it needs trimming, I trim it. I try not to let dying plants stay dying unless I'm using them to collect the seeds. Then I, I will let them go through their process. But for the most part, I try to keep everything looking as nice as possible. Now these are just starting to open. And these are enormous. These have this might be the third year I've had these daisies and they're growing and growing and growing. So I have to split these roots up, probably put them out front, put them all around because they're, they're massive. I have to constantly cut them back and they will just keep growing um, until, I think until the frost. I forget. But over here we've got, um, well look at this, this is another variety of oregano that's getting ready to flower and you can see the color of that is different. That's also another variety of oregano that's getting ready to flower. Both of these are, actually I've got three different varieties, one, two, three, and this flower is different. And there's even another one somewhere else I have to find it. It makes an even an, another different. Oh well, this is also a different, different variety of oregano, and it, it gets a very different looking flower. That on the end there, oh, where's my finger? Is the flower on the end? And then this too is another variety of oregano, and that gets another different looking flower. So I love to collect all these different varieties because the flowers all look different, and it's very cool. And look at the, uh, this is parsley. And look at the way it grows. Now this parsley is really cool. Now the, the rain beat it up pretty good. These were all sticking out perfectly like that, like in that shape. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Like, look at that shape. Now before the rain, it was perfect. But maybe, maybe when the sun comes out, it'll, it'll go back to the way it was. So here's some more oregano. This is my heart garden. I've got all kinds of things in here. I'm constantly moving stuff around. And I just replanted this area back here because I had a bleeding heart there and that's all done. So now I've got zinnias. That's um, Hopi Indian tobacco. And we've got calendula. So this is still a lot of medicines over here. Um, that's feverfew. This is a different kind of thyme. I think it's, yeah, rose thyme. It's pretty cool. We got dahlia. This is becoming a long video. I could go on and on. And then we got two different kinds of kale that are doing real good right here. There's one there, one there. 
and then I'm getting ready to do this bed. Uh, but I do have, I've been picking these out one by one and putting them in different places in the yard. Um, we've got all different kinds of zucchini, cucumbers. I have beans. Those are kidney beans over there. Oh my God, the beans. I have to show you the beans. The beans, we have been having the best bean harvest ever this year, I think. Look at this. Look at these beans. Woo, they're everywhere. I don't know if I can really capture what we got going on here. And they're so healthy, so they like this soil here. And I got three different kinds of beans here. I got these dragon beans. These are very cool, very crunchy. These are Jacob's cattle. And then this row is Calypso, Calypso bean. And then over there I have three more with a row of tomatoes in between. Um, it's starting to get hard to go back and forth because all the, everything is growing in. But over here, we've got edamame. That's what that is. That's edamame. And the first row here, that's a yellow turkey, yellow wax bean. And then this is some other kind of yellow bean. And I don't think they're ready yet because they're not yellow. And then we've got this beautiful broccoli. I think I'm going to have that for dinner tonight, that and that. And then we've got some tomatoes coming in here. My Swiss chard, probably have some of that for dinner tonight. And then in between everything here, I think I already said that, I got all, all the holy basil. And then here's our first tomatoes that ripened on this plant, but I grew this plant in my window all winter. So this was the first one to be ready and then it went into the greenhouse and the rest of this broccoli I'm going to be taking that out and replacing it with I think the zucchini looks like some stuff fell back there so I got a lot of cleanup work to do well of course I still have that pile to do as well but over here we've got blackberries now these are just starting to ripen oh I almost fell over all right these are just starting to ripen I noticed I ate one yesterday it was phenomenal so more are ripening here and uh, that's that's awesome can't wait look at that that's a harlequin stink bug but isn't it pretty I don't kill them I just relocate them they're too beautiful hello there and my cabbages looks like the first year I've been successful with cabbage this is these are beautiful specimens. Hopefully they will continue growing that nicely. And we've got red onion. We've got leeks. We've got garlic. We've got shallots. Some more kale. All my peppers, getting ready to put them in. Well, I did have broccoli there, so I took that out. And I had other things here, so I'm getting ready to replant. And I'm gonna take these down that don't look so good there. And what else? I think that's it. I think now we've been pretty much everywhere. I mean, I still have my carrots over here. Oh, I do have other things here. I still have more cleanup work to do over here. But we've got borage. We've got a pumpkin right there. And delicata squash. And what is this one? Butternut squash. Looking good. That one, I don't know what that one is. It doesn't have a tag. Uh -oh. That's it. That's eggplant. That's something else. Spaghetti squash. We got tomato there, sunflowers, cosmos. There's a cosmo. And the carrots. Now they're getting bigger. There's like eight or nine different varieties here. And all of the, the squashes, they all grow like a vine. So when they're ready, they're gonna be guided all around my path here. And I've got some tomatoes in there. So I spaced them out so that I can just guide their vines around, maybe go out that way. 
so I still have so much work to do out here. But at least you get a chance to see how nice it looks before the rain comes again. We got more beans over here. Oh wait, I did want to show this plant. Now, this is one of my favorite. Looks like the rain beat it up, of course. This is chervil, and it smells amazing. It's uh, an herb that's in the parsley family, so it's like parsley and cilantro, and it is a beautiful plant to watch grow. It has a great shape to it, and I harvest usually the, the lower branches when it's time to harvest. Now I haven't harvested any of this because it's just growing so nice. And it's a nice corner piece to what I got going on here. I got all this height here and then I've got height over there. So um, it's just beautiful. And then next to it I've got parsley that's flowering. So um, it will also get flowers on it and it reseeds itself. So it just, it's a beautiful tall plant. If you're looking for a border plant, if you're looking for something that's both herbal, medicinal, it's got incredible medicinal properties to it. Not only is it beautiful, but it's got a lot of good stuff in it. And behind here, we do have corn that kind of getting buried with all of the beans. We've got a couple different kinds of beans in the front there. So, I think I have gone everywhere. Got a lot growing. I'm so happy with it. So happy to be able to come out here at any point in time and, and pick up some, some fresh food without going to the store. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so I hope this inspires you to throw some seeds into the ground because look what happens when you do. You will love it. All right. Well, until the next video, see you later.